Start living this word for real. Oh. Don't, don't look at what these fake ministers and all these fake prophets are doing. Mm. Mm. Look to Jesus. Amen. The author and the finisher of your faith. Amen. Amen. He says, take heed that no one deceives you in these last days. Mm. But these days I see on Facebook and I media, oh, we're, we're, we're exalting these people too much. Mm. Amen. It's true. It's time to exalt the king of glory. Wow. When he shows up. Amen. I remember I was, I was praying one time and, and Jesus just walked into the room. And when he walked into the room, I was like, whoa. Because me, I like to pray the dark. Me too. Really? Because when I pray the dark, then I know, wait a minute, I'm really encountering God when you see the light of God yes. coming to that place. Yes. <laughs> and he wraps his arms around you. I've never experienced the love of God like that before. When Jesus really shows up, it was like a like a cloth that I felt. I, I can't describe it, but it was yeah, it was warm, it was special. I belong. Because my relationship with my family is not good. I've always felt like the odd one out. And then later on, I realized, wait a minute, I was dedicated to God. And sometimes, <sighs> this Christian walk can be, can be lonely. And then when the Christian world becomes lonely, sometimes we do silly things and we open ourselves to the demonic realm. Yes. yes. And because we open ourselves to yes. the demonic realm, we allow so many things, so many things to enter into our lives. Yeah. And then we, we don't know how to come out of it. Mm. And it's like cycles and cycles and cycles and cycles. And then we try to run away from church, but church is the answer. Oh, Sometimes, I, sometimes I, I see my friends and I tell them, listen, come, come, just come to the prayer Oof, meeting. God just come. Just come. Just come. We, we, start, we started as four people in the library. Four people in the library. Now we're about 11 or 12. Since last year. And I'm telling you, I, I, get some, I, I still get surprised. When I see people manifest, I say, yay. I say, oh, God, I didn't know you. I say, hey, okay. But when power is in the house, things have to disappear. And we must pray until power comes in the house. We, we must pray until power comes in the house. Where the presence of the Lord is, there's liberty. We, we must be free to worship. We must be free to lift holy hands up. We must dance until something happens. I was in a meeting and I've never seen this before in my life. When people are prophetically dancing and the deliverance taking place at the same time. Hallelujah. Nobody was laying hands on them. Since, since I saw that, I was like, wow, there's more to prophetic dance. Uh, there's more to God. <laughs> Didn't the Bible said, say this? When Jesus rose from the grave, he showed himself to his disciple. He walked through the door. Yeah, he didn't walk through. <laughs> he walked through. He walked through the door. He did far greater miracles than when he was living on the earth. That the Bible cannot even contain it. When I think about that, I say, wait a minute. So what was that thing that he did? <laughs> I leave that to you. <laughs> so the Bible says, the glory of this latter house shall be greater than the former, and in this place there shall be peace. I got two verse nine. <clears throat> 
But the glory of God is his essence, his weight, his beauty, his splendor. I remember I was going to um, this church, you know, in Brentwood, and there was this bishop called Michael Reed. And then, you know, we were, we were just having a conversation. It was not, not much Christian stuff. I was looking at this man of God, my eyes were twitching like this. I said, ah, what has happened to my eyes? And then I'm looking, I, I see this glow in this room. I'm like, oh, what am I looking at? And I'm trying to look at this man, and later on I'm like, and, he, and he's still talking to me. And then some few, maybe some few months later, I meet this lady from um, one of the redeemed churches in Darkport. The Dark, Darkport, right? Darkport, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I see as well, my eyes were like, ah, the same thing happened. I said, what, what's going on here? I said, are you an angel? So later I realized she was not an angel because she has a twin sister and I looked on Facebook. I said, wait a minute, they're actually human beings. <laughs> And then I remember that the Bible spoke about when, you know, Moses had so, such a glory on him that he had to even cover his face. I'm telling you, this is human being. They have captured the DNA of Christ that they are so saturated in the glory that me as a human being, I'm struggling to look at them. So that is why when I come to you and I think, wait a minute, you ain't got God. You ain't got God. I said, what, what, what you got? Brack it, brack it. You ain't got nothing. Hallelujah. Wow. We gotta be honest. You ain't got nothing. Because the reason why we have this sermon is that we know who is of God and who is not of God. God yep. oh. Yep. So that is why when I speak to you, I want to know, have you got my DNA? Wow. Wow. When I speak to you, I want to know, are you my friend? Are you my neighbor? You see, Jesus Christ doesn't call us slaves. He calls us friends. Woo! Wow. Glory. Yeah. And most of them will tell you I'm a slave to Allah. Oh, keep on being a slave to Allah. You will die being a slave. But we as the people of God, <laughs> when we die, not only do we die, oh my God. We live. We live. Amen. Glory us. Amen. We live. And even now, we're, we're living. We're living. Because even the Bible makes us to understand that even when Jesus comes up in the air, we shall receive a glorified body. Hallelujah. Can I just leave that alone? <laughs> There was, uh, there was a time I was dreaming. And do you know what? I, I saw myself flying into heaven. And as I began to fly, it was like I was lifted up, lifted up, lifted up. Lifted. And I saw the clouds and, and I saw the beauty of heaven, the mountains and the hills. I'm telling you, beautiful. Wow. The landscape is. And there was a castle that I saw, it was made out of uh, glass, like glass, sparkling. This world is not my home. I'm just passing through. And anybody that wants to come, come with me. Follow Jesus. Amen. We cannot follow nobody else but Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Let's pray. Amen. 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 Amen.